Western Sahara, a mysterious and forgotten land. Decades of conflict have left the land littered with violent munitions and remnants of war. Those that have remained on the land continue to eke out a basic form of survival. Amid the bombs and deadly landmines. At a location known as Midjik, the NGO Action on Armed Violence works to clear the land and make it safe once again for its people to return. Miriam Zaid leads a team of women specialized in landmine clearance and bomb disposal. To do this job, you need to be serious, persistent, strong, and self-confident. This self-confidence will enable you to be successful. I always do my best to serve my people. My name is Miriam Zaid. I am 28 years old. I have been working as a land mine clearance operator for the past six years. When we located the mine, immediately we notify the supervisor. Before the demolition, we have a meeting to discuss all the details. We make the assignment for who will do the demolition the location and the method to be used. To demolish a mine, you must first determine how much TNT will be needed, usually 200 to 400 grams, depending on the type of the mine. The demolitionist will confirm with their assistant that the area is safe and secure. It's very important for women to work in this field because it's generally considered a man's job. We are the first woman-only group and in addition, the men are very supportive and encouraging. They see us as equals. Once I have begun, I will continue until the job is done. I've never thought about quitting or giving up. If I've never tried to do something before, it doesn't mean I can't do it. I watch how others do it and I will try it and do my best. Miriam and her team have a 100% success rate with zero injuries or deaths as a result of their work. Once the fuse has been laid, Miriam will return to the mine alone to connect the wires to the TNT, the final step before demolition. Finish. The field we are currently searching, it's in an area called Kurdat, and it's 72 million square meters. This area is a good location to work. This is an area frequently used by nomads for shepherding their camels. We've cleared large areas and are confident they are now free from mines. Once back at the safety location, the fuse is attached to the detonator and the countdown begins. dream is to see Western Sahara clear and free of mines. I hope I will not be killed by a mine and I will survive to see my land safe for my people.